Hey, welcome back. We're at the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 4, verse 28 to 30. Jesus has just, just kind of begun his ministry here, and uh, the people are getting kind of riled up, you know. This day, Scripture is fulfilled in your hearing, and they're going like, uh, no, no, of course it couldn't be. Who is this guy? Well, anyway, let's see what happens now. So, all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and they led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was built, and they, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then, passing through the midst of them, he went his way. So, this is the reaction to Jesus. He's, he's, he's come to proclaim liberty to the captives. We saw that a few mornings ago. And uh, they begin to think about what he says, and now they get really stirred up. And uh, it says here, they were filled with wrath. Jesus comes in filled with the Holy Spirit, but they now, when they hear Spirit-led truth through the lips, the very lips of Jesus, God himself come in human flesh, now they are filled with wrath. Oh, no. And so they rise up. Now they physically manhandle him. They're going to take him to the edge, and they're going to chuck him over the edge, and, and, and I'm sure head first. This is the way Jesus' first day of preaching begins, you know. This is the first day of ministry, and uh, basically they're going to go out. They take him out to try to kill him. So we're in for some interesting business here as we go through the Gospel of Luke. Interesting to me here, though, how gracious Jesus is, you know. I mean, there's a lot of things he could have done in response to this. He slips through the midst of them and disappears. He just goes away. But the beginning of Jesus' ministry, the gracious gifts he proclaims, the gracious words he has, the gracious things he has for them, and of course their response is, uh, we're going to kill this guy right now. They go to church that morning and they're going to kill him before they, uh, before they get back for lunch. That's what Jesus was up against. And so if you kind of wonder, like, you know, why are we having these troubles in, in your own church? You know, different kinds of trouble. And well, this is what Jesus was up against. He was up against it then. And whenever somebody proclaims the word of truth, this is what we're up against now, is that there are a lot of people out there who want to keep to the status quo and keep themselves in captivity. And they just as soon kill the messenger. And they tried to do it that Sabbath morning. But Jesus was merciful. He left the scene and went on. Tomorrow we'll see what happens next. God bless us today. Let's, let's have, let him bless us as we pray. Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus and his ministry. Thank you for this gracious beginning, although the, the people treated it awful. Oh, Lord, bless us and help us to be your followers. May we not react to words of truth in uh, when we are in worship by trying to murder the messenger. Help us to be more like Jesus, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may God's blessings be upon you today.